and she just art stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is basically trying to introduce you to five amazing products that we feel here at Cheap Joe's just don't get enough love. These are some employee picks that we felt like you guys just needed to hear about because they're so great. And we're gonna start with some recommendations from our own Amanda, who is the manager of the Boom uh, retail location. She really likes M. Graham oils and feels like they really, really don't get enough attention and enough love from customers. The thing that she really likes uh, in using those particular oils is that they have a really creamy consistency. The color line within itself is all very consistent. So the, co the color consistency from different color tube to tube is very consistent and that you have an amazing color purity and coverage. Um, so they're, you know, really, really nice and unique in that buttery consistency and the, the fact that you can kind of go back to them at any time and they're gonna perform, you know, very similarly across the whole line. And the other big thing that she talked about that I really appreciated is they are very, very low odor. Um, not much stinky in the tube. Um, I have a kind of weird reaction to oil paint because it smells like bad french fries. Um, and so that part I know really bothers me and, um, and um, you know, Amanda has some, you know, some allergy issues. And so that is kind of like a gateway that allows her to kind of use oil and not have to deal with the smell. The other thing that she really, really likes is the M. Graham Walnut Alkyd Medium. This is cool because it thins the color, accelerates drying, and allows you to layer over existing layers really, really quickly. So as an example, she's saying, you know, I really, really like the M. Graham oils in combination with this medium because like I can work on a piece on a Saturday evening you know, do my thing and then come back to it Sunday and I can actively work on it. It's dry enough to where I can um, add more layers to it. And it's because of the use, the addition of this medium. Alkyd, if you're not familiar, means acid. It's, it's basically means that the, the, um, the oil properties have been broken down by the addition of an acid, which allows it to evaporate and dry more quickly. So the addition of this medium, which is they're recommending that you use it sparingly. So three to nine drops um, to an inch of color on your palette. So it's not, it's not like scientific, it's approximate. You have to kind of get a feel for it. Amanda says that this is what she appreciates about M. Graham is that kind of versatility to it. It also kind of increases the surface sheen. So it has a really, really nice finish when it's done. So check that out. It's non-toxic, no smelly, really, really nice. A recommendation from Amanda. Next, we have a recommendation from Bryant who also works in our Boone retail location and Bryant does an amazing range of all kinds of different subject matter. And some of them are kind of fantasy landscapes. Some of them are a little bit more realistic. The approaches to them are all very, very different. I've always been curious as to kind of like what it is that he's using because the way that colors are layered and applied over each other have very distinct kind of beautiful, almost ethereal feel. And that's because he is using Holbein Artists Heavy Body Acrylics. He was talking about how the coverage of Holbein Acrylics is so amazingly consistent so that you can lay down color and you don't have to worry about stuff bleeding up from underneath. And they all are kind of like uniformly have the same ability to cover subsequent layers and, you know, uh, do all kinds of interesting stuff. They have a very, very smooth, creamy consistency. Um, so you're not spending a lot of time manipulate, manipulating them with medium, trying to get them to a certain thing. It, you know, it's just kind of immediate and creamy and ready to go right out of the tube and dries to a, a really beautiful uniform satin finish. I own this demo piece here. It was a nice gift. It is gorgeous and I love it and it hangs in my gallery at home. The perfect example of like how Bryant's ability to kind of manipulate this acrylic really, really shows, especially with all of the interesting characteristics of Holbein acrylic. So definitely check them out. And then lastly, a couple recommendations from me. Definitely take a look at Joe's Prime Really Good Linen Canvas. I know you probably heard me talk about this before, but I'm serious. The interesting thing about that is it's 100% artist grade linen. 
it is triple primed with a universal um, acrylic gesso. And when I mean universal, that means you can use acrylic on it, you can use oil on it, but the gesso itself is acrylic based. The triple prime also is really nice because it only makes that surface more smooth. The application of it is just absolutely beautiful. It's available in two depths. We have a three quarter or we have a one and a half inch that's an extra deep and they are just gorgeous. And I will tell you that the consistency is amazing. I love the extra deep. I don't know what it is are satisfying and heavy and just beautiful. They are a fraction of a price of competing linen canvases out there on the market and just the absolute best quality. Love them. Look at it. Check it out. And then lastly, I wanted to introduce you to this. This is Canson My Tins Art Board. And you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. No, give me a break. Hear me out. The My Tins art board, you're thinking, oh, well, it's just like My Tins, like, but backed. No, not exactly. This is interesting because this is a multi-use surface. It's a ground that's intended for all kinds of various media. So acrylic, pastel, charcoal, graphite, drawing, you know, like any kinds of those kinds of things, even pen and ink, stuff like that, paint pens, you know, all kinds of different stuff can be applied to this surface but it is also uh, usable as a map board. It is linen free, it's acid free, um, it is very well constructed, nice and thick. Um, I have used it several times and it comes in a really, really kind of like you know, average studio person size, you know. So let's say that you're you're gonna use this to, you know, as an accent color for um, a piece. You know, this isn't a gigantic map board that you're having to deal with. It's just, you know, it's a really, really convenient size. They come in all kinds of brilliant, gorgeous colors and they're just really fantastic. So it's kind of unusual in that it's not only a ground, but it can also be a framing material as well. So, you know, if you built up a little library of them, you could have them at the ready for either purpose. Um, and they're not expensive at all. I have actually a piece here that we have as a sample that I did for Valentine's Day on this surface. It is wonderful. This is actually like gouache, Posca pen, Uniball gel pen. It was a heck of a lot of fun and a really great surface. So check out Canson Mytian's artboard and some of the other unique recommendations here. Try them, venture out there a little bit. We are sure that you will enjoy.